Hey guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel and today I'll be doing a Brownlow themed tier maker for you in light of the fact that Brownlow Metal Night is tonight. Now I'm recording this the day of the Brownlow, of course I might not actually get this video up until tomorrow, the day after the Grand Final, but regardless, I'm just going to be ranking all the Brownlow medalists from what it looks like 2004 until 2018. As usual, I'm going with the SABCD ranking system, top to bottom, best to worst, pretty simple guys, and uh, here we go, I'll just take you through what I think. So as always, I'm gonna rank the top players first and then the weakest players, and then we'll go from there and try and fill in the bits in between. Probably the best player on this list for me is Gazzy Ablett. Gazzy Ablett, I like that. Um, yeah, between he and Judd, I think those are the two goats of this generation. Uh, best two players for me on their own level. Um, and looking down on this, I'm gonna break a few hearts here and I'm gonna to put Tommy Mitchell down there as the weakest Brownlow medalist. Uh, I've had my, I've expressed my thoughts on Mitchell before, and the, I think he's a good, solid player, but never a truly, truly elite midfielder. Um, and to show that I'm not biased, I'm going to put Matty Prittis on the same level. Um, really good in and under type, uh, but to be honest, never really a true elite mid in the competition. So come at me. Now to be fair, like it's hard to rank Brownlow medalists because. Pretty much anyone who wins a Brownlow medal is going to be a pretty good player. So I feel harsh ranking certain players below. Um, but And also, you know, it's really hard to differentiate between the top absolute players because some of these guys are unreal. My next tier will probably be three modern day greats I've got. I'm going to have Danger, who I think at the moment is the best player in the game. Alongside him is Fife, who I think is narrowly the second best player in the game. And Dusted Martin, who is probably in the vicinity of those guys, although probably not as consistent over the stretch. The only other player on this list who I think is probably close to their level of quality is Adam Goods. He's a very rare player to have won two Brownlows in his career. I think he'd be a great suit for the modern game as it is at the moment with his versatility. He played ruck, he played midfield, he played center half forward. To me, that rounds out that A tier right there, who again, I just, just think is slightly below Ablett and Judd, who are probably goats. Now, dividing up the rest is pretty tough. I'm going to say Koch. Probably only a C grade. I do think he is a little bit overrated. Uh, in fact, somewhere between C and D. I do think he's a talented player. He's very skillful, very inspirational, but at the same time, the production and consistency over the stretch of his career hasn't quite been there. Same thing with Adam Cooney. Probably a lot of promise, but didn't really deliver on it at that consistently. He did have a great year in 08, but I'm evaluating these players on the whole. I don't think he really deserves much higher than a C, even though he was a good player. And that, I think this pretty much leaves me with my entire D column. So you got Benny Cuz, who uh, was re it really hurt me to leave him out of A, but I do think he probably just isn't quite as dominant, as much of a beast as any of those guys ahead of him, even though he was a sensational player. Bartel was probably in the same ranking for that reason. Um, Always a really, really good, dependable player. Um, you know, even better than that, really. But again, never really, truly, never really considered the best player in the game at any point. Dane Swan, again, an absolute machine. Probably wasn't quite the level of these guys here, but at various points was very close to being the best player in the comp. And Sammy Mitchell, again, um, you know, kind of like Cochin, kind of uh, won the brown low in really unique circumstances obviously they were awarded it retrospectively but nonetheless he's an absolute great of our game um he's on the cards bartel swan level for me rather than the goods of dusty danger fife um which says a lot right now about the current talent in the league with those three guys in my opinion being you know modern day greats so there you go guys tonight i am actually like i said i'm recording this before the brand low so my prediction has been dangerfield pretty much all the way um so he wouldn't be a new addition to this list anyway because he's already won one and uh he would be there out of the other contenders i think fife's a contender but guys like trelaw and neil and bont uh at this stage of the career i'd probably have around that c or d mark just because they don't have the same kind of like reputation as any of the guys above us although you know they're all fairly young in it in terms of their careers so there you go anyway guys as usual i invite you to let me know your opinion in the comments if you're new to the channel make sure you hit subscribe because there will be plenty of more afl content especially around the time of the finals but also going into the off season which i enjoy just as much as the regular season so thanks for watching i'll see you all very soon somewhere on youtube cheers